those days. What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 20. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add arpeggiators to synth sounds that might not have a uh, arpeggiator section built into the plugin itself. Luckily for us, Logic has a uh, arpeggiator uh, you can add an arpeggiator to any sounds that you want in Logic using the environment window within Logic. Thankfully, it's a good one, so uh, you will want to use this in the future on the plugins that doesn't have an arpeggiator. Basically, you hear a lot of arpeggiation sounds in uh, today's popular music, hip-hop music. You know the drill. You hear it a lot in today's on the radio, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it here. If your audio unit plugin does not have an arpeggiator section in itself, just go ahead, use Logics, and uh, you'll be fine to use that one. So I'm going to go ahead right into the tutorial right now. First step we got to do is bring in an instrument. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to bring in the ES1. And I'm just going to bring in um, a sound that will sound good with an arpeggiator. So let's just say this preset, so let me hear the sounds. Yeah, so that preset should sound good with an arpeggiated, uh, with our arpeggiation into it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close that. And I'm going to hit Apple 8 on my keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Apple 8 on my keyboard. And that brings up a uh, the environment window, Logic's environment window. Up here in the top, top left-hand corner, click this arrow button right here. Go to Clicks and Ports. Click and Ports. Go to here, New. Arpeggiator. And this little thing will come up here. Now, there is multiple ways in which you can uh, connect these cables here. But the way I usually do it... I just go to this little uh, triangle right here, click, drag a cable into the arpeggiator. And then out of the arpeggiator, I'm going to put into my sequencer input. And now you've just routed something in Logic's environment window. So what that is, is every time I play a key on my MIDI keyboard, as you can see, the keys are pressed here. It's going to go through the arpeggiator and then into the environment, and you'll hear how it sounds when you hit play. The key thing here is you have to hit play for the uh, the arpeggiator to be triggered. So if I just go ahead and play right now, you're not going to hear the arpeggiation being played out. Only when I hit play will you hear the arpeggiator. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and you'll hear the arpeggiator. Actually, we didn't set up some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and hit Apple 8 on my keyboard. And along the side in your arpeggiation, if you click the arpeggiator here, along the side you have settings that you can change and adjust to your liking. So I'm just going to go ahead and change my resolu resolution to 116, the length of 116. If you want to, for it to snap to a certain grid line, you can go to uh, the one that I usually use is 116 because a lot of my stuff I do, I just snap it to 116. But uh, for this, I usually like to go to none and then... Synchronize it after two sixteenth notes, and uh, let's go direction uh, up down, and we will uh, we'll change the octave. So instead of just repeating itself, we'll do three octaves. Let's go ahead, hit play, and uh, hear how that sounds. As you can see, I'm just hitting one note, and it is being played out again. If you don't hit play. The arpeggiation won't work. You have to hit play and the arpeggiation will work. Or kick in. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly record something just so you see what it does when you uh, record with the arpeggiation on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. All right, so right there I recorded something with the arpeggiator turned on. I'm going to double click that and right here you will see the arpeggiation that it did. So I just I just hit one note as that was recording and then it did all this arpeggiation for me. And then from here I can go ahead and quantize that if I want. And we can play back here how it sounds. And you can go ahead and manipulate that further. Cool, huh? So again, all you have to do is bring in any instrument that you want. Hit Apple 8 on your keyboard. They'll bring up the uh, Logic's environment window. Go to New. Click Arpeggiator. Drag the cable out of your keyboard into the Arpeggiator. And then out of the Arpeggiator into your sequencer input. And then along the sides here, as you uh, can see, there's some settings that you can change of your arpeggiation. So 
If you don't like the way up down sounds, you can try random. You can go ahead, go through the settings and see which ones you like, see which ones you'll use. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead, just play some uh, stuff with different settings just so you hear how it sounds. So there you go, there you have it, it's very simple, very easily. Now you're starting to learn a little bit about Logic's environment window, which a lot of people are scared to touch, but uh, once you start to use it, you will like it more and more and realize it's not that hard. All it is is uh, just dragging some cables around and that's how you do an arpeggiator in Logic. Uh, again, for more uh, for more videos, remember to subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, more great stuff coming soon, guys, all right? Later, take care, and uh, keep asking questions because I will be getting to all your questions soon. Sorry it's taking a little bit of time, but I do have a lot of them, so... Uh, with that said, take care guys, later, see you next week. See you on the next video, later.